interested in studying product design, the uh, Staffordshire University three-year BA Honours product design degree is for you and students who are studying that will get an experience of how to uh, develop ideas for a wide range of end products and that means that they understand things uh, from breaking them down from basic principles through to actually practically making things and taking through the design process. Now it's an exciting program because students uh, experiment, they test boundaries, they use different media, so they will be exposed to workshops where they are applying technologies associated with wood, plastics, metals, and then applying them to real practical solutions. Now the great thing about our courses is that the actual products that students are asked to design are based on real things. So that we work with industry professionals who will come in and, and set briefs and uh, come and have a look at the work when it's done. So students will learn not only to design things but to present themselves professionally which sets them up for working in the sector. And the, the exciting way that students learn how to work future-proofs them so that they are developing skills that are not only about working specifically with the subject but also skills for working in the creative industries. And we don't even know what the technologies are going to be in the next five years' time. So we are encouraging students to experiment, to explore new ideas, to uh, work with different technologies including software and practical hands-on equipment and then prepare themselves for the opportunities that are going to arise in the future and some of those opportunities we don't know what they are now. All our tutors have connections in the sector so they, are, they understand how to engage with professionals in order to get the students exposure to the kind of sector that they will be working in in the future. And that means that they have rehearsed applying for jobs, presenting their ideas to professionals, working in teams, problem solving, uh, time management, all the things that they will have to do in their professional careers. So whilst it uh, is a very vocational course, it's also very hands-on. But what makes it higher education is the expectation that students will have to work and think uh, in an intellectual way that supports what they're doing. So they'll have to research their product design thoroughly. Uh, they'll have to express themselves very articulately. And we support the development of those skills in order for them to work amongst peers who are highly experienced. Um, the area of transport design is really exciting. Everybody is interested in transport and that is transforming at the moment. It's not just about cars. We're looking at modern ways of travelling and uh, ecological ways of travelling. So if students are interested in the future of transport and how that will look, you cannot uh, divide the technological changes from the aesthetic requirements and the practicalities of development. So students who are studying transport design are going to be looking at what the current trends are, what the needs are of the sector, uh, they will be investigating what's happening internationally and looking at how to do new designs, how to test them in a practical way so they'll be working in a hands-on way, testing their designs aesthetically, aerodynamically and uh, presenting those ideas to peers, to professionals in the industry and getting feedback. Staffordshire University has connections with uh, big car manufacturers, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, uh, and the tutors have developed this course in conjunction with professionals in the field so that the modules are not the idea of some academic who thinks I'd like to teach this. It's about academics who have real insights into the sector, who have worked with professionals to develop modules that are flexible and will respond to current and future trends. So the students are exposed to an experience that makes them very up to date in the kind of technology that they will be using and the, the way it will be applied and how you will present that to present potential clients. And obviously financial implications are involved there so that they will have an understanding of the implications of the designs that they're making in the context of budgetary requirements and uh, other values that are obviously influential in design choices. So it's a combination of understanding technical skills and aesthetic values, uh, but applying them in a practical way. Very exciting course, uh, 
in hands-on in parts, but in other parts it requires problem solving, uh, pre presenting your ideas to uh, professionals, um, team building, working in different environments, thinking on your feet, short projects, responding to a brief when you have to do something very quickly. These are all things that students will experience when they're employed. And so our students are all exposed to industry in a way that is very relevant for the creative sector. They don't get placements that take them out for a year because that's not what life is like working in the creative sector. The, the courses that we run, such as product design, it's a BA course and that's a, a very important factor. It's an arts course. Now, they, generally speaking, we've got quite a few courses that have a very similar title and some of them are BSc and some of them are BA. To students who are very technically minded, maybe more oriented to a design technology course where you're looking at the te technological factors behind how something is made. Whereas a BA course is a creative course, it's about imagination. I'm not saying you're not creative on, on a, a science-based course, but it's more technologically focused. Whereas an arts course is about ideas, about pushing the boundaries, uh, problem solving, and creating something that is um, practical, uh, works, is good to look at, uh, will be marketable, and so it's like the front end of uh, product design, whereas product design technology is about how you implement that in a technological way. Now there are there is a strong overlap in the two areas, but we tend to see students who have a creative bent, who uh, compulsively draw, like to look at things, make judgments by the way something looks and functions, and not just by its practical aspects. And the ones who want to do product design technology are looking at the technical underpinning skills and the and needs of generating something. So we have a similar thing um, uh, in film. If you were looking at um, uh, 3D design and animation uh, and you were doing BSc, then you would be looking at the software programming and how you would make that work. And if you're doing a BA, you're looking at the output in terms of what it looks visually, how you would actually make that happen. So the, the BSCs are technical and the BAs are creative with a commonality in the middle. And the expectations of the thought processes and the ability to argue your ideas and present your ideas are very similar uh, on both courses, but the, the, the reasoning behind it is slightly different and you'd need technical skills if you were doing a BSc and more creative skills if you were doing a BA. Students who are perhaps interested in the marketing side but feel creative or they're very conscious of products that are sold as sweets so that you have got perhaps uh, a range of items that relate to a particular manufacturer but they've got a common theme and an aesthetic value that says a particular thing uh, about that product will probably more, uh, be more attracted to advertising and brand management than a marketing course. Advertising and brand management is a course about looking at products and selling ideas in a way that covers a, a complex range of areas in an imaginative way. We're all sold things now and we can't just say buy this product, buy um, palm olive soap as we used to do. We are sold things through lifestyle choices, through aesthetic values, uh, we're targeted as particular audiences and the advertising and brand management course will help students understand who the target audience is, what the product is or the idea is that they're conveying to that target audience, how to research that and how to come up with ideas that are original in order to uh, suit a client who's asking for these needs to be fulfilled. We expect students to come up with ideas that are sometimes a bit wacky, off the wall, experimental, uh, but make you sit up and think. If their target audience has uh, other competitors in the sector selling a similar product, then you've got to stand out from the crowd. So the advertising and brand management course helps students to uh, generate ideas in new ways that will uh, appeal to a client, but also to 
the market that they're aiming at. And so they will work in a variety of ways, which will include uh, hands-on three-dimensional products, sketches, uh, professional presentations, they work in teams uh, and individually, they'll have deadlines to work to, they'll have live briefs that have been set by somebody appropriate in the sector, and sometimes they'll work with agencies. Uh, advertising and brand management students are already studying in Vienna and in the UK, and those students have met in Europe in uh, different venues, uh, they've been to New York and they've gone to agencies in London and sometimes the agencies will set them a one-day brief and they will go into the offices of the agents and they'll say this is what we'd like you to do and by the next day they have to be resourceful and come up with the goods. Uh, so students are exposed to a wide range of experiences and by doing that they will be prepared for the sector because there's an expression uh, in the film sector where you're only as good as your last job. And students are always looking to improve what they're doing so that the next time they'll be better than the last time. And that's how students develop a portfolio of work which they will show to their uh, potential employee or to a client. Because very often in the sector you can work independently and through that you will ha end up with a portfolio of clients who you will service in different ways. So you might have a range of people who you have contracts with of different scale and be working freelance uh, with a variety of people. And students are taught how to do that and how to manage that. So it helps them be prepared for the kind of environment that they will be working in, which is not always, though it can be, employed by one studio for a number of years. There are lots of different ways of working in the creative sector and you, students will require a portfolio in order to sell themselves. And all our courses help students build that professional portfolio up. And that portfolio can be online. Uh, uh, networking is part of what a student will do. And then they will be exposed to people who will be able to employ them, uh, who are looking for them even when they don't know. So if they've got a presence online, and our students are expected to do that, they'll have a website with their own information on, which is selling themselves all the time. And because we do exhibitions and uh, people come in from the sector to come and see what the students are doing, that network is developed uh, and we are working with those people in the sector to make sure that the briefs that we're doing are current and they can then see who the students are who they think will be suitable for working for them. But they will also know other people as well. So through that network, students manage to get employment and that might be serial employment or permanent employment or a combination of those things. And students are ready for that. The, the next generation know how to work in a different way and it's really exciting and stimulating and that's what their expectation is. Um, BA on animation. Okay. Animation is everywhere. So we can't help, it's in adverts, it's online, it's in films, we cannot avoid animation. It is a specialist area for somebody who wants to study it and if you're wanting to, to study a BA in animation you're going to be a creative, you want to make something look good, you want to manipulate and rise to a challenge and work to a brief and those outlets for that work are huge and developing all the time. There isn't a product on television on the internet that hasn't got some form of animation in it all the industries from the medical sector through to science they're all using animation in some way so whilst it might sound like it's a niche area but with not many employment opportunities a lot of those employment opportunities are semi-invisible and specialist skills in that area are in demand and it's one of the huge growth areas at the moment so if you're looking to develop your skills as a technician in uh, animation so you want to be practical you need to learn software the BA ONS animation is for you so you have to learn the software and you will also be manipulating 3D uh, real life things because you need to understand how it works with practical things you need to be able to draw you need to be able to visualize things so you'll be working in a variety of ways but one aspect of that will be that you will translate it into some form of uh, digitized uh, animation but that's just one aspect of this. You won't entirely be working on computers. 
So if you're confident on a computer and you'd like to develop your skills in animation, or you think you're very good in practical ways in drawing and uh, you want to animate something that you've done a storyboard for, you might come in from that point of view. So we get combinations of people on our courses and the beauty we get combinations of people on our courses and the beauty of that is they learn from each other and they stimulate each other and because they work in a studio environment you're constantly pressurized by other students to achieve you work in teams you learn how to uh, uh, problem solve and you experiment in what you're doing and as the technology is moving all the time you're learning on the latest technology and you're keeping your eyes open to know what the next thing is and you're also you become a sponge as a student. You're looking for, if you're studying animation, you're looking for animation in every form and thinking, how did that work? How can I do that? That gives me an idea for my next project. And so we expect students to be researching, observing, talking to people, questioning, and developing their own new ideas all the time. And it's a very exciting area to be working in. And it doesn't just mean that you work in a particular area, for example, uh, in the film sector because animation is so much bigger than that it is everywhere around us if you're looking at the more technical side of 3d design and digital film we have bsc uh, in digital film and 3d design technology that means you will have to understand the programming side of how to make things work in order to generate the images that look 3d and work in film so that you can translate them for use in film. And we've all seen those exciting images uh, that we think are absolutely amazing that are now uh, generated using di digital technology. Uh, and so students on that course will be more technologically minded but still want to generate exciting images. And so they bear in mind those ideas and they bring their skills to a course where they will learn how to use the technology that applies it. And again, there are lots of outlets for students who've studied those uh, skills because uh, with digital technology being so um, available and usable and translatable and easy to ship around the world because we've got the internet and we've got lots of ways of transporting it, people are demanding it and ordering it online for different applications. Uh, there are sectors where they have people who are specialising in that in the film sector, of course, if you know how to use uh, digital film, there are, they employ people to do visual effects uh, and they will work using special effects and 3D technology and they're, they're, they're boundaries blur between the different subject areas so that uh, we have got specialist uh, courses that cover the individual um, visual effects or uh, 3D effects but if your area is you want three dimensional programming and uh, design then uh, the film, digital film and 3D design is going to be the area that uh, you'd want to work in. Our digital film and 3D animation technology, BSC, is for those of you who go to the cinema and think those visual effects are absolutely amazing, I want to go at that. It's a course that combines technical skills with creative ability and an artistic aesthetic value. If you want to study digital film and 3D animation technology, then you can study a, a BSc honours degree where the tutors have designed the modules based on expertise of working in the UK film sector, which is highly regarded internationally. But because these are skills that are used all over the world, it doesn't matter where you study it as long as you have access to the resources because you can get employment in the sector which is a growth sector due to the nature of the film industry being uh, a booming area and skills in the digital technology.